So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so the first thing is that you have to just click on start lab and open the console incognito window now if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel and let's get started so here basically you have to just activate the cloud shell so let me show you how you have to perform all the steps just activate the cloud shell you have to just click on it and just click on continue and then authorize yourself so just do it like this just click on the authorize option so finally you can see this thing is done now you have to come back to the lab instruction first of all let me increase the font size now let's come over here go to task number one and we have to set the environment so first of all just paste it we are copying the bucket file after that what you need to do you need to come back again to the lab instructions and then just change the directory and then we have to export the project id in the region after that we have to just export the repo name and then just create the repository now here it will take some time and here you can see it's working so just wait for the repo to get created finally here you can see the repo has been successfully created now you have to run the build command now here many of you may face some kind of issues like it is not just initiating and getting some kind of error that it is failing so in that case what you need to do do not worry if you can retry also you can just retry over here and you'll see we are getting another error over here so let me show you how you have to fix it to fix the problem you have to re-authenticate yourself for that just type gcloud space auth space login and then type y and hit enter now just click on this url and select the student id and then just click on continue allow and just select this one and post on your cloud shell now again come over here and run this command now here chances are there it will show without any error basically it will run without any error and if you face any error repeat the steps and if you are facing resource limit exceeded error just restart the lab and it will work now just wait for this to get completed it will take some time once you see this kind of output what we need to do we need to just open this basically come back to the lab instructions and just check the score for this particular task basically this task may take some time so wait for it and just try again to check the score it will take again and if the job is failing or it's not working how we have to just retry it i will show in this video so from here just minimize the cloud shell and then we'll open the build history and just retry the build okay so just come over here go to the build settings go to the cloud build and just click on go to it just do it so it's opening now here the build is ready but sometimes what happens let 
takes time to update the score. Still, what we'll do, do not worry about it. First of all, remove this unwanted pop-ups. What you can do, you can just retry to check the score. And if you're still not getting the score, come over here and just rerun this build command again. Okay, just run the build command over here. And here what you can do, you can just click on retry build. Now here you can see it is queued and it will start initiating the running process and will be completed soon. So after that, you can just come back to the lab instruction and check the score. And this is how we have to monitor this step. So here you can clearly see it is showing successful and now we will move forward to the lab instruction and just see whether we get full score or not. So let's come to the lab instruction and see whether we are getting full score or not. Meanwhile for other pre-assessment skill badges you can check the description box of this video and do subscribe the channel guys. Now let's deploy our cloud run application and run over here. So here if you get any error for the first time you have to rerun the command again. Now here it's proceeding all the steps so just wait for it to get completed. So finally here you can see our app is live. So here if you try to check the score directly, chances are there you may not get the full score. And here basically we have to test the app. Okay, if you try to check the score, you won't get the score before testing the app. So what you have to do, you have to just open this URL. And if you are facing error like the site not reached, try to disconnect your Wi-Fi and reconnect it. Also one more important thing, wait for some time because the lab, lab takes time to update the basically provision the resources so you need to wait for some time okay here you can see this is our chat app and we have to just paste the prompt over here and send it it will take some time to just generate it and then we'll move forward to the lab instruction and check the score so here the prompt is successfully generated and now let's check the score and if you want to enable this yellow check my progress bar you can check the description box of this video do like the video and subscribe the channel guys thank you have a great day